Hello YouTube, this is JW Solo USA. Folks, I just want to show you guys here the house. I have um the the tea kettle is running, it's pulling about 15 1500 watts. Uh, my refrigerator is running, the toaster is running, the toaster just kicked, and uh, the chest freezer, the water dispenser, you guys saw almost like pull about 50 something amps. 50 some amps from the battery I'm telling you folks this machine is working it's a great machine hold on let me show you guys here here is a tea kettle it's going see that it's doing its thing okay turn the light off so you can see The freezer is gone. Same time, you can see the water dispenser is on, and I can put it closer. You can hear the when the sound resonate. There you go. The refrigerator is running. See that? This is a toaster. I'm gonna to turn the toaster on again. See that? They are running simultaneously. Simultaneously. Boy, it's almost about to boil. Look at the amps coming out. Check this bad boy. He's still relaxing doing his thing. The fans are not even going crazy at all. Fans are not even going crazy. 56.6 amps at 48 volt folks unbelievable unbelievable water is almost boiling my water dispenser is running see the LED you can hear it resonate chest freezer is running the toaster just Kicked, eject. See that? System is awesome. Here goes the amps now. Full size family, full size family refrigerator, a freezer, water dispenser. It's running on uh, cool, cold water, and the tea kettle. All of them and toaster, they're running simultaneously. Look at the amps. Look at the amps, folks. My house is about my house is approximately ninety-five percent off grid. The only thing I cannot run at this point is my electric stove, which is a two hundred and um, two hundred and forty volt AC. And the uh, the air conditioning is 240 volt AC, so I cannot run those. So that's why I was thinking about trying to get uh, this guy again, so I can make two of them. So I can have this and run them in uh, parallel. Folks, this night time, okay? It's night time. Look at the voltage. Still on 50. 0.06 we are doing great I'm so 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 pleased this upgrade and all the kind of stuff here goes the steam see the water boiling <laughs> the water is boiling see that folks never underestimate the power of the Sun never check this out it dropped now it's just the the freezer and the fridge running the toaster already ejected and the water dispenser just um sorry the um the, the tea kettle just eject um stop as well and this bad boy is still doing his thing running the show 
live here from JW Solar USA. Check the voltage, 51.3, back up. See? Telling you folks, skeptics, I'm telling you folks, this system rocks. Really, really awesome. All right, take care, folks. Have a good night. Bye-bye. God bless. I want to just show you guys. This is part of the upgrade. And after you do something, you got to put it on test. See? I just put another set of uh, uh, water again. Half a liter to the tea kettle. You guys can hear in the background. As I'm trying to pull more power to see how the system works no resistance at all touch the battery wires and everything the, the breakers nothing nothing check this out 50.09 volt no resistance at all would you imagine if this is um, this one would have been a 12 volt Or 24 volt 24 volt is still great but would you imagine at first when everything the toaster was on now the, the only thing that's missing is the toaster but the water dispenser the freezer the refrigerator full size and the microwave Okay, let me start again. The, the refrigerator, the freezer, water dispenser, the toaster, and the tea kettle. They all drawing simultaneously. That was 50 something, 54. If you guys can re re replay the video, you can see it. So, the system is kicking. It's really, really kicking butt. No resistance. The water just, um, the ticket will just ejected. See that? Live on camera, folks. Live. Live. System can't lie. This is the facts I'm showing you guys here. Facts. Less. No resistance. I'm not going to even say less. There's no resistance. Zero. Because the wires are huge. System is just cranking. Well, if you like what you uh, what you just saw right here on the video or what you've seen, please subscribe, like, and share. And folks, it's your choice. You can pick whatever you want. If you want to go 12, 24, 48, I'm not here to say anything. They're all great system. But for my application, this is what I wanted. It would have been probably over 100 and some amps coming up from a 12 volt. Will you imagine that? And you cut that one. See, on 48, we bring in about 50, 50 something. So, would that be like 100 and, 108? Yeah, about 110, something like approximately 24 volts. Check what we, we, we would have been. Okay, and from there, that would have been like 50 something. Uh, I'm good. I think uh, uh, 12 would have been probably 150, something like that. I'm not thinking straight. And now uh, 24 volts would have been um, approximately 100. And 48 it seems pulling 50. Yeah, 12 would have been like 150 amps, something like that. If I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm not thinking straight, but the system is working. That's all I can say. The system is working. It's working really fine and that's the time right there that's the day folks right here 2100 hours 2119 all right take care folks bye bye